In this first video, I'll show you how to connect your Sartorius balance to your PC. Sartorius provided us with a Cubis analytical balance, so that's what I'll be using. Your balance is probably a bit different than mine, but the key points remain the same. First, let's check out the available ports on your balance. The connectors are most likely on the back. Typically, your balance will either have an RS-232 serial port, a USB port, or both. Some models might also have an Ethernet port for connecting to a network, but I'll just be discussing USB and serial today. The RS-232 serial port on a Sartorius balance will have a 25-pin D-type connector, and the USB port will have a USB type B connector. Next, let's check out the available connectors on your PC. The RS-232 serial ports on most PCs are 9-pin male connectors, and the USB ports on a PC are typically type A connectors. If your balance and PC have both USB connectors available, this is most likely your best option. Make sure you have a cable with a type B connector on one side and a type A connector on the other. Plug the type B USB connector into the balance and the type A USB connector into an available slot on your PC. When you connect the balance to your PC for the first time, Windows will attempt to automatically install a device driver for the balance. If for some reason the driver wasn't automatically installed, use the CD that was supplied with your device or contact Sartorius for the most recent drivers. If your balance doesn't have a USB connection, we can use the RS-232 serial port. Plug the 25-pin connector directly into the scale and the 9-pin connector directly into the PC. If your PC doesn't have a serial connector, don't worry. There are many options available, including PCI cards, USB adapters, USB hubs, Ethernet adapters, and more. The most common and readily available is a serial to USB adapter. These are inexpensive and are available at most computer supply stores and many online retailers like Amazon and cables to go we recommend getting one that uses an F, TDI, or prolific chipset. Whichever connection you choose, the balance should appear to be connected as a COM port in Windows. Therefore, our next step is to determine which COM port the balance is connected to. Let's open up the Windows Device Manager and look in the section labeled Ports, COM, and LPT. If your PC has a built-in RS-232 serial port, it will normally show up as either a COM1 or COM2. If you connect the balance to a USB port, either directly or through an adapter, the COM port will typically appear as COM3 or greater. My balance is on COM6. Now that we know what COM port the balance is on, we can start setting up WinWedge and Excel to capture and record data from the balance. Once you're ready, proceed to the next video.